Hey guys, the cute dude here. Today we'll be unboxing some monster shape mods from Guangzhou Yuto. All right, so here we have the Carney Jaw, Red Devil, and then the third one, which doesn't seem to have a name anywhere on the box. Let's jump into the Carney Jaw first. All right, so here we have the Carney Jaw 2x2. Now this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Next to a normal 3x3, this is the size of it. And as you can see, it's a 2x2 shape mod. Let's go ahead and do first turns. It's definitely not the smoothest, and it's it feels nice on just when you turn one of these solved layers. But once it starts getting scrambled, then it sort of it's a lot harder to turn, and you can sort of feel some catching internally. Let's go ahead and give this a scramble. With this puzzle being so small, it already is kind of difficult to move, just because of how small and weird the pieces are. But I'm gonna go ahead and solve the teeth first. So there we have one of the layers with the mouth and the eyes. Now let's go ahead and do the other one. All right, and there we have the carny jaw solved. So it's a little bit tough to turn when solving. Uh, it's a little bit small, so it's a little bit uncomfortable to turn during the solve and also to scramble, but let's go ahead and move on to the Red Devil. This is also a lot smaller than I was expecting. The size of the box made me think that this was a lot bigger. As you can tell, this is the size of the box, but this is the size of the puzzle. So it, most of the puzzle packaging is mostly plastic. But here you can see the Red Devil. Now it looks kind of spooky, I guess. But let's go ahead and do first turns and then scramble it in the process. All right, so this turns a little bit better when turning not solved. On the carny jaw, turning was a lot smoother when it was solved. But once you started scrambling, then it was a little bit tougher. But on this, it's a lot smoother all around. It's a lot better than the carny jaw. And I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier to solve. All right, so let's go ahead and do the solve real quick. So this puzzle is a little bit difficult to turn just because of the size of it. It's a lot smaller than you would think. And with it being such an obscure shape that you're not used to, such as a cube, it's kind of hard to get the right grip on a few pieces when turning. So you have to be kind of careful. All right, so there you have the Red Devil solved. Pretty easy to solve a lot, easier to turn than the Carney Jaw. But now let's go into the, I believe the three x three shape mod, which has no name. So this puzzle is listed on Amazon as an international Rubik's cube, three x three speed cube, stickerless magic cube, three x three x three puzzles, toys, kids, adults, turns quicker, more precisely than original devil puzzle Rubik's cube. <sighs> All right, that is the name of this puzzle. And this is along with the other two, a lot smaller than I was expecting. Now this is around the same size as these 2x2 two two shape mods, but this is a 3x3 three three shape mod. And just to put it in proportion to a regular 3x3, three three, here we have a Waylong GTS 3. So it's a lot smaller. So this is a little devil with horns. You have the eyes, which are the centerpieces here. We have the top of the head, which is another centerpiece. And then I guess here you can use these lines to sort of help you figure out the orientation of the center and figure out what edges go where. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the pieces on this one. I'm gonna take off the nose. All right, and so it, it appears as if it's a cap, just kind of thrown on to a cube. This just sort of popped off immediately. It doesn't seem like there's anything special about this. It's a typical kind of not so great quality three by three shape mod. Turning is rough, bumpy, sort of catching on other pieces. And due to the size, this is also a little bit uncomfortable to turn. So far, all of these have been very uncomfortable to turn. But I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this up, do a quick solve, and then I'll give you guys my overall thoughts on all three of these puzzles. All right, so here we have the scrambled International Rubik's Cube 3x3 sp with an original Devil Puzzle Rubik's Cube. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick solve on this. I'm gonna solve the bottom first, cause this seemed to be the easiest. 
And the eyes, I don't know if they have to be oriented a certain way. It doesn't seem like they have to. These seem to be perfectly center, and it doesn't seem like there's any raised parts on these centers that would have to fit to only one orientation. All right, so there, I believe, is what is the solved international Rubik's Cube. Double puzzle Rubik's Cube. I'm just messing with you guys. I think this is the original Devil 3x3, but it's listed as Amazon as that, so, and there's no name in the box, so that's what I'm gonna go with. So this is a little bit more difficult to solve than I thought, just because so many pieces look kind of similar, like these two uh, look a little similar, the horns look similar, and this was a little bit difficult to do, the lines, but there are pictures on the Amazon link, which I'll have down in the description that were kind of helpful to refer to. My overall thoughts on these puzzles is that they are all a lot smaller than I was expecting. The turning quality is not the best. However, they do look a little bit spooky, which is why I waited so long to upload this with Halloween coming up. I know a lot of people out there are big fans of Halloween, so if you want to decorate your shelf, then I would recommend getting it. Otherwise, I think they're a little bit overpriced. But if you guys are interested in getting these for yourself, I'll have links to them all down in the description. Thanks again to Guangzhou Yuto for sending these out to me. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell next to it to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Spooky, scary skeletons, and